If you've been looking to build your own PC, then you had to have come across the terms single channel, dual channel, and quad channel while looking for the right RAM for you. But what exactly do these things mean? And more importantly, do they have a significant impact on gaming performance? In this video, we'll tell you all you need to know about these three types of RAM configurations. So if these are the types of questions that have been keeping you up at night, then you've come to the right place. Obviously, this video is geared more towards novice builders, but even the more experienced crowd is welcome to stay. Who knows, maybe you'll learn something new. So without any further ado, let's begin. In most cases, the type of configuration you have will depend on how many RAM sticks you have installed. If your motherboard houses only a single RAM stick, then your PC has single channel configuration. Got two RAM sticks? That's a dual channel configuration. So if all four RAM slots are occupied, you must be running a quad channel RAM configuration, right? In most cases, yes, but not necessarily. It also comes down to what CPU you're using, or more specifically, whose CPU you're using. AMD CPUs only support single single and dual channel memory. This doesn't mean that you can't make use of all four RAM slots if you're using an AMD CPU, you most definitely can. You'll still be getting all the extra RAM, but only the benefits of dual channel configurations. Now if this sounds a little confusing, don't worry. It'll become a lot clearer once we explain how these three configurations work. So let's get to it. Okay, so now that you know that having a larger volume of RAM doesn't necessarily mean having more channels, let's look at what these channels actually do. Essentially, having more memory channels means having a higher bandwidth, and having a higher bandwidth means having faster data transfer and therefore better performance. The idea here is that using two or four lower capacity RAM sticks would lend you better performance than a single high capacity stick. A good way to visualize this would be by using the road analogy, where the number of channels is equal to the number of lanes. No matter how well made your road is, if it just has one lane, it can only handle so many vehicles at a given time. But the number of vehicles that roads with two or four lanes can handle is exponentially larger. So the idea is that having more channels will give you exponentially better performance. And we've just seen how this holds true in theory. But as always, there are certain discrepancies between premise and practice. In this case, it's the part about the increase being exponential that doesn't really hold up. Up. In reality, the performance boost you'll have from having more channels will depend on whether you're gaming or running some other memory-hungry software. As always, we'll focus on gaming since that's why most of you are here. But even then, we don't have a simple, straightforward answer for you, since the performance boost you'll see will still vary from game to game. One thing is certain, multi-channel RAM configurations do provide a performance boost. However, whether you'll be able to tell the difference or not is another thing entirely. Even in the latest AAA titles, the effects of multiple channel configurations are generally negligible enough that you shouldn't go out of your way to install them. This, however, doesn't mean we don't recommend opting for a multi-channel configuration. So let's take a look at some of the reasons to go multi-channel. Performance is important, but it's not everything. There are other factors you need to take into consideration when making your purchase, and the price is foremost among them. The thing is, multiple lower capacity RAM sticks end up being cheaper than a single high capacity stick just because they're easier to manufacture. So aiming to equip your PC with 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can both give it a slight performance bump and save a bit of cash by installing two 8 gigabyte sticks, or even four 4 gigabyte sticks instead of just a single 16 gigabyte stick. And that's not all. Having multiple RAM sticks ends up working as a nice contingency against hardware failure. If you just have one 16 gigabyte RAM stick and it dies, well then you're not going to be using your PC until you get it replaced. But if you have two 8 gigabyte sticks and one dies, you can still run your computer with just the other one for the time being. Plus, we mustn't forget about aesthetics. If you're the kind of person that has a transparent or an open case in order to show off your impressive hardware, Hardware, there's no denying that you'll want to have all four RAM slots filled, especially if you're using sleek and powerful RAM modules with well-designed heat spreaders and RGB lighting. On the other hand, there is one reason why you may want to opt for single channel memory, and that's upgradability. Let's say, for example, that you're looking to pack your PC with 8GB of RAM. In this case, buying only a single 8GB stick may be a better option, since you can bump it up to 16GB whenever you feel like it. All you have to do is buy another 8GB RAM stick, and you're good to go. 
So in conclusion, having more memory channels does increase in-game performance, but do keep in mind that this performance boost will in most cases be marginal. The best way to increase your in-game performance is by getting a better GPU or CPU. Still, if not just for the slight performance bump, we still recommend installing multiple channel memory because it's more affordable, less likely to leave you with an unusable PC in case of hardware failure, and it looks better. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, maybe even share it with your friends if this is something you think they ought to know about. Also, if you don't want to miss any other videos like this one, be sure to click on the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video gets uploaded. And finally, in case all of these PC building considerations are too bothersome, perhaps you should consider getting a pre-built PC. There's a link in the description to the video where we weigh all the pros and cons of a pre-built and custom-made PC. So make sure to check that out if this is something you're considering. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, We'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.